Our evening planner shows temperatures staying in those 30s, 35 degrees by 9 p.m. this evening and 34 degrees by 11 p.m. Winds will stay very light between 5 to 10 miles per hour, but we are going to drop to about below freezing for most of West Michigan. Because of that, there is a chance for a little bit of patchy frost in the morning. So if you're off to the races early in the morning, just allow for a few more extra minutes to scrape off your car. I think we've all been in that situation where you're running late and then all of a sudden, oh, we have to scrape off the car. So just as a reminder, as for tomorrow, we're going to see temperatures jumping up to the lower 40s, 43 degrees by Grand Rapids and 42 degrees in Hastings. Temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer for Saturday, but we're really going to drop in our temperatures from there on out. So taking a look at our future feels like temperature. This is a look by Sunday at noon. The feels like temperature will be in the 40s, but Look ahead throughout the rest of the day. The feels like temperature is going to be in the teens. It is a very cold air mass moving into West Michigan, and this is also going to give us the chance for some lake effect snow. So the rest of our Friday, we're going to see mostly cloudy skies. That's the story all day on Saturday as well. Cloud cover and dry, but by Sunday, the chance for precipitation rainfall will be approaching from the southwest, inching its way towards southwest Michigan by around 1 p.m. and staying mainly south of Grand Rapids, south of I-96, eventually pushing off towards the east and replaced by some lake effect snow showers that will continue all day on Monday. When it comes to the amount of precipitation, most locations can plan on roughly one to two inches of lake effect snowfall, but it's all about that lake effect banding. So if you are in a stronger lake effect band, you could actually see up to potentially three inches of snowfall. As for the next couple of days, those temperatures will be dropping. When it comes to the amount of rainfall, it really isn't going to be much. Taking a deeper dive into our Super 7 day planner. It's going to be less than a tenth of an inch of rainfall for parts of southwest Michigan, and this number just keeps on dwindling. We're not planning on a whole lot of rainfall. It's really going to be taken over by the chance for some lake effect snow showers, and as of right now, we do have the chance for a little bit of light lake effect on Thanksgiving Day. We'll have more coming up after the break.